good morning students as we are doing revision of unit 1 in our previous english period we completed up to unit 1 from workbook up to 6 exercise so now in this period we moving on further from 7 so let's start exercise 7 from unit 1 use correct preposition of time for the following so we have to use preposition for the following so we know very well that what is preposition what we understand by preposition preposition a word that shows the relation between a word and a noun or a pronoun is called a preposition pre means before and position means place so prepositions generally sit before nouns or pronouns so in the given blanks we have to write down prepositions in the given space a at midnight b on monday c on christmas eve d in the morning e at or on the weekend f on sunday morning now 8 do you reach your school in time what will happen if you will not do the work in time so the question is that do you reach your school in time and what will you what will happen if you will not do the work in time if you are you people are not doing your work in time then what will happen and first question is that do you reach your school in time yes or no so yes i always reach at school in time if i will not doing my homework in time then i will be consider a lazy children and a bad children yes or no if we people are not doing our work in time then what it shows that it shows our laziness and it's bad for us then after answer the following questions a what do you hear in the morning we hear the birds singing and the bees buzzing in the morning b what do you see when you are awake we see the cow the horses the ducks the sheep and the tiniest chicken when we are awake C why was Neha happy when her clock fell Neha was happy when her clock fell because she could get up late the next day D why did the sun wake up Neha The sun did not wake up Neha because it was behind the clouds. Then after E, why do we do the things in time? We do the things in time because there is a clock inside us which tells us when to eat when to sleep and when to wake up so students here unit 1 revision from textbook and workbook is complete 
Now we moving on revision of unit two. First we start from textbook. So let's start unit two, which include noses. So let's start from textbook unit two. Unit two, which includes noses. the little for tree so in our textbook page number 19 answer the following questions are given question 1 why does the poet feel that the nose is a funny thing the poet feels that the nose is a funny thing because it sticks out the face like a handle shows what shows out all of it and has two holes under it then question 2 why is your nose important for you answer nose is important for us because the two holes in it are used by us for breathing question 3 does the child in the poem like her nose why do you think so answer no the child in the poem does not like her nose because in the poem from last stanza we come to know that if ever the child wants to giggle and laugh about something she can look at her nose in the mirror and laugh at it because it is so funny now in the next page to look at your friend's face and describe what you see use words like long round oval slanted sharp flat to help you you can use other words also so we have to given some hints words like long round oval slanted sharp flat and we can use some other words also if we want to use and we have to write down description about our friends face so it may vary student to students so my friend's face is round he she has long nose the color of his her eyes is hazel hazel that means a rich reddish brown color hazel means rich reddish brown color so you can write down description in your own words then after 3 what is your favorite food describe it in five sentences so we have to write down about our favorite fruit mangoes are very sweet and tasteful and write down five sentences on it so our favorite fruit is mango mangoes are very sweet and tasteful their color is bright orange it has a single seed and a thick layer of pulp it is very juice i like to drink mango smoothie in summer as it is cooling now some questions are given related to the description as we written here five sentences of our favorite food so regarding that some sentences are given here a how does it smell a fresh mango 
should smell just how the fruit will taste then b how does it look it look like round c how does it feel a ripe mango should feel a little soft d when you bite it what sound does it make no sound e how does it taste it tastes sweet and it's yummy in the next page let's write one do you know a fish breathes from its gills write two sentences about other animals which can breathe under water so we know that fish breathes from its gills now we have to write down two sentences about other animals which can breathe under water so crocodile and turtle are water animals they can breathe under water then after to punctuate the following passage now one passage is given in this we have to use proper punctuation mark marks as needed and rewrite the same passage again mother father nilam said i have got a fire engine i have got a fire engine what's this what's this called mother somewhat confused by the noise i have got a fire engine mother come and see it so as there is no punctuation mark so it's just uh, we can say a uh, passage of words containing words so for make it proper we have to use proper punctuation marks as the requirement then it will be proper so first of all whenever we start any sentence any new sentence it always start from capital letter so in the double inverted comma mother m capital mother then comma father double inverted comma close comma nilam said comma double inverted comma i have got a fire engine and then after exclamatory mark then i have got a fire engine again exclamatory mark double inverted comma close what's this then again then question mark what's this called mother somewhat confused by the noise then double inverted comma i have got a fire engine mother come and see a double inverted comma close at the end full stop full stop also we use when the sentence is over so in this way we have to write down this given passage then after 3 using a red pencil choose and circle the things whose smell you like now with a blue pencil circle the things whose smell do not like make five sentences like this and then after first we have to circle with the red pencil the things whose smell we like then with the blue pencil we have to circle the things which smell we don't like and then after we have to make sentences as one example is given downside i like or do not like the smell of this because it reminds me of this in this way we can use i like or we can use i do not like in both the way and make sentence in this way so here i have using a simple pencil only no red or blue pencil 
I just, I just here circle with a simple pencil the things which do not like. I cross it. Can you see here? It's clearly seen. Cross the thing which do not like, and the thing, the thing smells we like. Don't do anything. Just circle it. The things with smell we do not like, circle it and cross it. So it is easy to understand. Clear? Okay. So first of all, petrol, cross, do not like. Then rose, we like smell of rose. Petrol smell, we do not like. Then scent, yes. Chocolate, yes. Chips, chips, some like and some do not like smell of chips then shampoo yes rotten fruit cross do not like the smell of rotten fruit champa yes dirty shoes no soap yes agarbatti yes marigold yes paint no garbage no Coffee, yes. Elaichi, yes. Now we have to write down five sentences. So, A. I like the smell of scent because it reminds me of rose. B. I like the smell of shampoo because it reminds me of chocolate. C. I do not like the smell of dirty shoes because it reminds me of garbage. D. I do not like the smell of paint as it reminds me of petrol. E. I like the smell of agarbatti as it reminds me of champa. Then after, let's sing. A small poem is given. What is it? Tall ears, twinkly nose, tiny tall and hop he goes. What is he? Can you guess? I feed him carrots and watercress. His ears are long, his tail is small. And he doesn't make any noise at all. Tall ears, twinkly nose, tiny tail and hop he goes. Hop that's jumped. Hop. So it's written by Mary Lewis Allen. So what is it? It's a rabbit. Now write three pairs of words that rhyme with each other. So, first, nose goes. Rhyming words are words which sound same, but meaning of that particular words are different. And words are totally different from each other, but the sound is same. So, first one is nose goes. Then after, guess, water, cress. Then small, all. So, from textbook, noses, poem portion, poem portion is complete. Now, let's moving on further. Exercise of the little fir tree. So, in our textbook, page number 27, take the correct answer. A. The pretty little fir tree was happy with gold leaves, but A. God came along and ate them. All the leaves got wet in rain. A man stole them. So, a man stole them. Then B. The fir tree was sad because it had yellow leaves, because it had needle-like leaves, because it was very short, because it had needle-like leaves. Then C. 
the fir tree was not happy with the gold leaves because the gods came and ate them up a man stole them the gold leaves broke a man stole them so students as we completed the explanation of this chapter and the textbook portion and workbook portion is already completed just now we are doing revision so i hope that now you know answers of this chapter then after in the next page word building one by changing the circled word to its supposed rewrite these sentences one has been done for you so we have to write down opposite of the circled word a i carry a light bag to school every day i carry a so opposite of light it's heavy i carry a heavy bag to school every day we have to write down the same sentence but with the opposite word of the circled word b rena won the race so rena won that lost lost the race c i love eating vegetables i hate eating vegetables d this glass of milk is full this glass of milk is empty e the old man is wise the old man is foolish now to now give the opposite of the words below by adding u n un or i am im so we have to use this two words and give the opposite of the words below happy unhappy polite impolite seen unseen proper improper lucky unlucky possible impossible important unimportant perfect imperfect healthy unhealthy safe unsafe patient impatient pure impure then after 3 rita loved her dog sheru every day sheru would go out of the house and come back himself but one day he did not come home rita looked everywhere for him tears rolled down her cheeks sheru was lost